This AI follow-up automation got me a pretty crazy 38% response rate, all without me having to lift a finger. And unlike other automations that send vague and generic follow-ups, this AI automation sends personalized follow-ups at scale. So if you're an entrepreneur, an agency owner, or just somebody who hates manually chasing prospects, then this video is for you. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to set up the automation inside N810 and how to connect it over to your CRM. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can send your first 1,000 messages using this exact system. So let's get to it. All right, so we're here on my laptop. I'm gonna take you through the tools that I'm using to create this automation. We have the CRM, and for this case, we're using Go High Level. In my opinion, it's probably the best CRM out there. We can send SMS at scale, we can do WhatsApp, we can set up email automations, we can have our funnels in there, our calendars, dynamic fields, we can have the whole entire conversation history and the contact record all in one place. And then we're gonna send out to NA10 and I'm gonna show you that workflow in just a second. So top level overview, we've got a few automations in here. And if you do wanna grab the snapshot that you load into Go High Level that's gonna build you all of this automatically, there is a link below in the description. But for this video, I'm gonna keep it super simple. There's a, a few advanced features in here that I usually build out for clients. And I also give to my students in my NA10 mentorship. And so the main thing we're gonna be looking at today is this AI conversation. So there's a few different things going on in here. And in a template, you're gonna have one and two and four. That's really all you need. And let me show you how all this works. So we've got the start chat feature, and I'm gonna show you the message that actually gets the 38% response rate. And it's super simple and you'll probably like facepalm when you realize like how crazy simple this is. But the reason why this works so well is because we're trying to get a response. We're not trying to pitch, we're not trying to sell, we're not trying to get them straight on a call. We have to get a reply to them. So let's take a look at that first message right now. And if we click into here, we can see there's a custom value. And so what we can do in Go High Level is we can have these dynamic fields to input wherever we're gonna to need to put that custom value. And then we can change it in the settings. So I have quite a few of these also with the webhook when we send the message out to NA10. All you come down, all you need to do is come down, find the custom fields and I'll show you the message. Uh, sorry, custom values is the one. And you can see here, hey name, is this the same name who was looking for help with an AI automation build? And so in my case, that's what I've got set up because that's the offer that I have and that's what I help people with. So let's say your name is Alex. Hey Alex, is this the same Alex who was looking for help with uh, an AI automation build? And so it's a pretty easy yes or no. Have we first of all reached the right person? And second, it's a very low effort response. All we need is a yes or a no. And so that gets the conversation started. And so when that happens, that response gets sent through to NA10 to ChatGPT that then generates a reply. And I'll show you the prompts that's guiding that reply in NA10. And that's where we start the qualification process. Okay, so that's the first message. And that's literally all this automation is doing. Now we have a drip sequence. So if we do load in a bunch of old leads, it's not gonna try and message every single one. If you've got thousands of leads, it's not gonna try and message them all at once. It's gonna drip them through 100 a day, one every two minutes. You can remove that if you want. You can connect this up to a form trigger in Go High Level, or you can API it to a specific service where your leads come in. And you can have this trigger as soon as a lead contacts you. And, and this is why our clients find it so valuable is it reduces the speed to lead. So if you don't know, the sooner that you can get hold of a lead, the higher chance you have of converting them into a customer or a client. And having this automation reach out via SMS is probably one of the best ways to do it. Email is great, but people get a ton of email. But SMS, that's a little bit more personal and it's easier to respond to. So that's all this automation is doing. We send the first message, we update some tags and some fields. And if they don't respond, then we have a few follow-ups going out here that basically nudge them. Hey, did you see the last message? And we're trying to look for a, a response. So what happens next? Well, we've got to generate the response, okay? And we do that by sending that reply from the client or the prospect out to ChatGPT. So you could see in here, might look a bit complicated, but don't worry. Most of these contacts are gonna come down this outside path, right? 
and they're going to come down here into reply generating and you can see sent to chat GPT. We have the webhook in here and in this really simple workflow, this webhook comes in, comes in with the data. As you can see here, this is the data that it pulls in and we've got the first message sent, the AI memory, which is basically the same. And we've got the body message, which is the yes. Okay. And in here, this is probably one of the most important parts of the process that you will need to customize for yourself. And this tells the AI on how to take them through the qualification process, the booking protocol, the output style, the conversational tone. This is the engine for the responses. So you can see here, we've got the first message in there, bump message, if we've sent anything, which are the follow-ups. And you can see here, qualify prospect section, takes them through. You know, you can put in here like specific things that you want the AI to say verbatim, which is what we've got here. And this is typical because we're just pre-framing the call by saying we were going to call you, but we didn't want to disturb you. You're still looking for help. And so that pre-frames the call because eventually we do want to have them on a phone call. We have the qualification criteria. So ask them what problem they're trying to solve, if they've tried building anything themselves, if they have an idea of a budget for this project. And once that's completed, we move them to the booking call protocol. Okay, and this is just a simple protocol that's telling the AI when to book them in. And in this case, we're using a booking link, right? Just to keep it simple. We can get technical and say, hey, are you free tomorrow at 10 a.m.? And the, we can set up the system to detect the time and book them into the calendar at that time. So that can be a lot more frictionless, but to get this up and running, just putting in a link is super easy. Now we have some rules in here, only ask one question at a time. You can read through this. I'm gonna include uh, this prompt in the snapshot and the N810 workflow that you can upload and trial this out for yourself. And we've got a bit of company information down here. Now, if you are trying to answer specific questions in the automation and in the SMS responses, then you might want to add in a bit more company information here. But the goal really, at least for me, is to get somebody on that phone call because that's when I can deliver the, the information in the best way possible. So that is one of the automations that we have here. This is the most simple version and that's what's going to generate the response. We're going to update a contact record in Go High Level and, and then once that contact record has been updated, we're going to see in the send a message automation. We're actually checking if that field has been filled out. As you see here, if the message contains goodbye, we're going to update the contact and take them onto the do not contact list. And the reason why the agent would output goodbye is if the person expressed some kind of anger or negative sentiment. So that's important to keep your uh, A2P and your the trust that you have with your sender as strong as possible essentially so you don't get your phone number blocked or canceled. And then in this section here, you can see the, the contact has been changed. Is ChatGPT filled? Yes, if it is, then we're gonna send the AI response and we're gonna pull from that ChatGPT field just there, right? But if this sounds kind of complicated to you and you kind of want somebody to walk you through it, then you might want to consider joining my NA10 mentorship. It's a 90 day program that takes you from zero to NA10 operator, where you're going to have my exact process where I take an idea and then turn it into a production ready automation. And my guarantee to you is this, if you don't have a production ready automation running in a business that solves a problem, then I'll give you a full refund because my goal is to give you the skills that you need to become an NA10 operator. And the way we do that is in our school community where we have a bunch of content and most importantly, you get access to me and the rest of the community. We had guys like AJ Vaynerchuk join the mentorship. So maybe you're thinking, why would somebody who runs a nine figure company wanna learn how to build with NA10? And the answer was pretty crazy because, okay, he didn't wanna learn to build NA10, but he wanted to be able to speak the language so that he can direct his tech team and join that conversation that's happening in his company. So if you are interested, I'm gonna drop a link in the description, you can click that, you can check out the page and book your call. It is application only and we have intakes. I don't know when you might be watching this video, maybe the intake has been closed at this point, but you can pop in your application and we can see if uh, we're currently open for new students. So back to the video, once we've sent that SMS, it's gonna go round in a circle. 
So we get a response back from the prospect. It's then going to take them through to the next question. And the cool thing is AI has memory. So it's going to know what happened in that conversation with that specific prospect because each contact has their own contact ID. And the cool thing is you could hook this up to any other CRM that sends text messages. The reason we use Go High Level is because of the text messaging feature. And so let's just try this out, shall we? Let's go over to contacts. And I already have a contact in here, which is me. And I'm going to add me to one of the automations. And I'm just going to show you on my phone how this works. So in if you've not used high level before, this is all the contact information you get. And you can pop down at the bottom and you can find the automations tab. And you can add me to an automation. Let's add start chat. I'm just going to check my phone here. I will see if we got the text message through. And yes, we got the text message through. The phone I'm using to film this video is, is receiving a text message. So it's going to be kind of difficult for me to show you, but you can see here, uh, this message has come through. Let's just show you what the chat history looks like. So you can see I responded, yes, it is to that first message. Thank you, confirming. Have you tried building anything automation yourself? No, I'm just getting started. No worries. Do you have any idea or budget for the projects? I might not sure. Uh, no worries at all. We're, we're confident we can help you out. We'd be interested in speaking to an advisor and uh, put a short thing and then boom, we send over the link to book them in, right? So yeah, we could tweak some of the language in there. We could improve the prompt and you know, change the tonality, make sure it doesn't say things over and over again, the same kind of thing. But this is kind of a, a first version that you can try out yourself. We could even try changing the chat model to Claude. We could change the, uh, the temperature in the option settings here. We could change the sampling te temperature, maybe to like, let's say 0.3 and see if that makes a difference, right? And by changing the temperature, we're going to be able to have more control over the messaging. It's going to stick to the format more closely than a higher temperature where there's a bit more flexibility and sort of AI creativity, let's say. So another cool part of this is if you are pulling in information from a different CRM or your form is hosted somewhere else, you can actually pull in, you know, you would create an, a workflow with a webhook that sends data to your CRM or go high level in this case. And then you could set up some custom fields, right, in this section down here. And, and then you could add in specific information, right? We're setting this up for a jet, uh, like a private jet booking company. This is what we're able to do is we're able to pull in the the journey from the, the form that somebody submits. We can add it as a custom field. And so in the first message that gets sent out, we can pull that custom field in the message. We could say, hey, Tom, is that the same Tom who just uh, requested a booking for uh, this journey? And then we put in the dynamic field for the journey and boom, it looks super personalized. So this is just some of the things that you can do with a system like this. Um, if we take a look at the other automations that we have in place here, there is a bunch of different things that we've got set up. We have a, a double message check. Uh, we have uh, follow-ups and uh, and then a few other things here. This is all to do with exporting leads uh, to the client CRM. We do also have a conversation moderator that basically scans the conversation. And if there's any negative sentiment, it's then gonna send that to a do not contact list. So we don't mess up the phone number. When it comes to the phone numbers, you won't be able to do any of this even if you're trying to use Twilio inside NA10 without setting up A2P. And one of the, the easiest ways to do that is to ask ChatGPT what you need to fill out in all the requirements. You can see here, I am A2P compliant. I've got a US phone number and I've set up the campaign and the brand in here. And when, when you go through this process in Doha level, it does have some prompts to tell you what you need to fill out in each of the sections. You can also use that and ask ChatGPT as well. It's very important because if you get blocked, you might end up having to resubmit and it's just a bit of a hassle. You've got to get this right. And so the way that you send more messages in Go High Level, for example, what I would do is you can see the messaging limit here. If you, you know, I mentioned at the start of the video how you can send your first 1,000 messages, you can see here my current limit is only 100. And you, know, you can ramp this up um, to, you know, over 3,000 a day, but it's going to take some time. So how do you update the limit? Right, if you click here, let's see, if we put in a 1,000, is it going to let us know this? 
and then boom, we've now updated the limit to a thousand a day. Usually I would have to go through a, a support ticket and get it done that way. But um, one of the other things that you will see in here is the SMS compliance, right? And this is grayed out. So we can't untick this, which is a bit frustrating because I don't want to send this in the first message. It just looks like a marketing message to me. And okay, you kind of need to for compliance, but there is a balance because if the people that you're reaching out to are opting in and they know they're going to get an SMS, then the way we do it is we, we remove this. If they do want us to stop texting them and they mention something like stop or whatever in their responses, we're going to detect that a different way. Okay. And so to keep it more human-like, we want to remove this as much as possible. But in any case, we can't do that yet. We have to wait 15 days for this account until we can actually do that. Um, this only shows up on the very first message. So the rest of the text messages do look more normal, but we can edit this. So we could remove this down to like something very, very short. Um, we could reword this if we wanted to. So if you've decided to implement this and you've grabbed the document below, which has the snapshot, the full setup guide and the NA10 workflow template, you've now got a follow-up automation that runs on autopilot that keeps your conversations alive and books those leads in without you having to do a thing. But automation isn't just about saving time. It can actually help you generate ideas that you might never find on your own that pulls from proven sort of research and forums. So watch the next video where I show you how to use NA10 to scrape Reddit for viral content ideas that you can then translate into posts on X, on Facebook, on Instagram. You're going to find that video just here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.